Good morning, dear guests, uh, distinguished participants, Your Excellencies. Uh, we are happy to welcome you at today's event, uh, organized by uh, Ilya State University and uh, Lithuanian uh, Academy, Military Academy of, uh, and uh, under NATO Science for Peace and Security program. Uh, we are looking forward for uh, interesting discussions that will allow us to revisit the uh, current uh, geopolitical situation in relation with the energy transit in South Caucasus. Uh, we, have, we hope to have interesting discussions of potential threats to this uh, uh, energy flows and the ways of international cooperation that would support uh, uh, the uh, current and future potential projects in Georgia. And uh, with this uh, note, I would like to pass uh, the floor to uh, uh, Rector of Ilya State University, Mr. Giga Zedania, and then we will have uh, a Rector of Lithuanian Military Academy, Colonel Matulis, to welcome our guests, please. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, dear participants, I'm very glad to welcome you on behalf of Ilya State University to this important event where the emerging security risks for energy flows in South Caucasus will be discussed. Um, um, security of energy transit is of vital importance for Georgia and can contribute significantly to energy security of the region um, and of our partners, of our neighbors, and we should definitely take joint steps to assure the security of this transit. And today's um, workshop is addressing these challenges and these tasks. Uh, we at Ilya State University believe that along with fundamental scientific studies, universities have a societal mission. And the societal mission is to address the real challenges of the environments in which they operate and to apply the, in practice, the knowledge gained. And um, in this regard, um, Ila State University has been doing a lot. And in this particular area of energy security, I would like to mention world experience for Georgia and Geo, with which we have been cooperating very productively and which has played a very important role in organizing this event as well. I would like to thank NATO Science for Peace and Security Program, whose grant allows us, allowed us to organize this event. We also looking for, are looking forward to further productive cooperation with our colleagues from Vitaiutas Magnus University and Jonas Zemaitis, uh, Military Academy of Lithuania. Uh, we would like to thank also the Embassy of Romania, NATO Contact Point Embassy and NATO Liaison Office in Tbilisi, who have been very helpful in organizing of this workshop. We would also like to thank the Ministry of Energy and Ministry of Foreign Affairs, as well as Scientific Technical uh, Center Delta for their interest, participation, and sponsorship. Uh, I'm very happy to welcome um, guests from all over the region, from Lithuania, Azerbaijan, Turkey, Italy, Bulgaria, UK, Romania, and perhaps there are some, some other country I have missed, but you are also very welcome, of course. And uh, I hope that this workshop will provide the ground for further productive cooperation between our countries, our institutions. Um, and I'll, in the end, I would like to wish you a very productive two days of discussions and uh, lots of success in our endeavor. Thank you. Good morning. Um, let me to join the rector's uh, welcoming uh, speech. Uh, dear ministers, dear guests, dear NATO uh, representatives, uh, embassies, members, and uh, all, uh, all uh, partners uh, for this uh, workshop. 
As a commandant of Lithuanian Military Academy, I am so glad uh, to take part in this uh, workshop, which uh, was initiated uh, from Lithuanian side, which was a uh, very much organizational job done by my institution. And uh, I'm looking forward uh, to this uh, amazing opportunity to discuss this very, very relevant topic. Uh, I also would like very much thank you, Ilias, uh, State University for excellent cooperation in organization of, uh, of this workshop, which we are together uh, brought uh, all of you here. And uh, I truly believe that we have real, real uh, sub substantial topic to discuss about uh, energy. Why energy and why Lithuania? Uh, as you already heard, uh, Lithuania is uh, one of the key nations always putting this topic to the table. In Lithuanian Military Academy, next to my building, there are NATO Center for, of Excellence for Energy Security. And, and uh, Lithuania is active in this area for bringing this topic at any opportunity. When we initially discussed that uh, should we have this confidence in Caucasus area, uh, there was immediate support of many, many uh, actors. Uh, I also thank you NATO for helping us, for helping and supporting us uh, having this conference here in Belize today. Uh, energy importance in Lithuania is taken at every state, stage. Uh, practically, we not only talk, you know, we do a lot of things in, uh, in our uh, nation. We already have pipeline to Sweden as alternative energy source. We have a, a ship just purchased, you know, to produce liquid gas if the energy for any reason just got. Uh, unfortunately, but we know, and in the past it was many times that the energy was used as a political weapon. So we want every nation, every country, everyone to think about it, to think about solutions to think about alternative ways how we can put the light on how we can heat our houses if there is some challenges uh, it was already stated uh, that in this region the same alternative solutions required because it's coming from the same way what's the baltic region and in caucasus region i truly believe that this community is uh, here just to start this practical things, just to start, to start talking about it. I really, really uh, appreciate for such a huge involvement of nations, of uh, uh, region uh, organizations, and uh, for trying to talk and to talk and to talk. Thank you very much, and I wish very, very good workshop. Thank you very much. Uh, we have enjoyed uh, support and the cooperation of the public entities and on the, of the government. Uh, namely, we had good cooperation, we have con good cooperation with the Ministry of Energy and Ministry of Foreign Affairs, who initiated this process. Uh, and uh, I want to pass the, the uh, word uh, for, for welcome to Ms. Uh, Maria, Mariam Varlishvili, the, the Deputy Minister of uh, Energy, and will be followed by Ambassador at Large, Malchas Mikelazov from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Thank you, Murman. Good morning, everybody. This is really a pleasure and honor me, for me to participate in this workshop. Uh, Energy security is a topic which is uh, not only the interest of the national interest of the individual countries, but it concerns the uh, common interest in the region. And I believe that this workshop will contribute to the further 
uh, complementing the interest of uh, different countries in the region. And uh, before I will just move to the substance of this issue, let me thank all the organizers. Uh, we have been involved in the preparation of this workshop for a number of uh, months. And I think uh, uh, the presence uh, and present uh, uh, participation of different countries and representatives of, from different institutions definitely I'll highlights the importance of such meetings to be held regularly and particularly NATO's uh, initiative to uh, push forward the cooperation within uh, the NATO's uh, cooperation platform and particularly the Lithuanian support uh, and the Embassy of Romania also. I would like to thank everybody, uh, University Ilya Uni as well, uh, because uh, uh, the organizers together with the participants and complexity of this issue definitely highlights how important energy security for us is. And uh, within the perspective of the Georgia's energy security uh, in the agenda, it's not only the national uh, interest of Georgia to be energy secured and to have high quality of security, but of course we are part of the region, we are part of the um, developments which are taking place in the region, and uh, you will agree all that we have quite diverse partnership with all the neighbors in the region, and we're trying to be um, uh, the partner. And I'm very glad that observing the recent cooperation between the different uh, um, uh, countries in the region, kind of power-based uh, relationship was moved to the more interest-based relationship. And all the negotiations of new projects to be implemented in the country, bilateral or multilateral talks, it's based on the interest, mutual interest, which is, I think, very important to be constructive, to be uh, efficient in our uh, further work. Um, and uh, I, I, I have to uh, underline that um, uh, the region itself proved to be uh, the good partner, not the individual countries, but the region. And it was highlighted many times for the European Union, definitely this is the alternative uh, energy corridor and uh, the pipeline projects and other uh, cross-border uh, transactions that took place, uh, per place uh, for the last several years definitely demonstrates that this is the alternative corridor, which proves to be, to be uh, efficient, safe, and real playing an important role in the energy security of the European Union. And I think uh, um, uh, the major driver of this uh, assumption and actually proof is the good partnership between the countries. And particularly, I have to highlight the very, uh, very high level strategic partnership between Azerbaijan, Georgia and Turkey, which made uh, it to be true. And I think this is the basis. We, um, all of us, we underline also the interest of other countries to be involved in this partnership. So South Gas Corridor uh, definitely is very important instrument for uh, European Union to make sure uh, of uh, um, uh, to, to feel more energy secured in the future. But of course, the expansion of the South Gas Corridor, which is gradually taking place by Shartanis phase to development, but I believe that next steps needs to be implemented as well uh, to even enhance uh, the corridor importance for uh, the world uh, Western markets. I think even further work needs to be um, uh, performed and we have all the bases, uh, all the networks, all the relationship, and what, what, what is most important is the good faith actually to launch the new initiative serving the energy security of individual countries in the region, uh, the region itself, and at the same time providing security for uh, the, uh, for, for the um, uh, EU as well. So with that, uh, I will just complete my welcoming speech, and I'm very happy to see you all at this uh, workshop. And I think in the discussions later on through the panels, we will have more thorough discussions about the concerns, challenges, but at the same time opportunities. Um, what is the energy agenda of today? Uh, uh, and what uh, we as the individual institutions together individually and in the partnership can do for the better uh, being of our interest uh, in the region. So thank you once again and uh, uh, enjoy today's and tomorrow's workshop. I think it will be very beneficial to all of us. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege and honor to address such a distinguished gathering which has brought together so many international experts from uh, various institutions to discuss one of the most challenging and acute issues of the 21st century, like energy security. In the globalized world, which is characterized by continuous growth in energy consumption, the energy security presents one of the major components of the national security. Ensuring, ensuring 
uninterrupted energy supply, free from political blackmail and based on the fair market rules is a critical aspect of sound international relations. In the last decade, we have witnessed the use of energy resources as a leverage uh, to influence and, in fact, intimidate sovereign countries to revise their free foreign policy choices. Furthermore, the energy infrastructure worldwide is increasingly subjected to terrorist attacks aimed at inflicting severe human casualties and economic damage. Besides, the international terrorist organization like Islamic State have been specifically targeting energy-rich regions of vulnerable countries. Those radical groups are accumulating funds to finance their activities on the global scale by engaging in illegal energy trade. Given the multitude of challenges associated with the energy security and its importance for the Euro-Atlantic community, it is indeed logical that this issue has come to need to focus as well. Ensuring energy security requires a complex set of policies and actions from the international society, where NATO can certainly play its positive and important role. One of the uh, major requirements for energy security is diversification of energy routes and resources. We are all aware of the danger related to over-dependence on one particular energy supplier. The South Caucasus and the wider Black Sea region have strategic importance for strengthening um, the European energy security, as they provide alternative energy to the Western markets, as well as host transportation, transport communication infrastructure that link Europe and Asia. Georgia plays one of the uh, key roles in regional energy and transport projects, providing probably the shortest routes for delivering the Caspian and Central Asian hydrocarbons to the European markets. Over the decade, Georgia has proved that it is a reliable energy partner pursuing the principles of fair play and having a corrupt free market economy. Georgia's accession to the, uh, to the European energy community is a vivid demonstration of its adherence to the European energy rules and regulations. Membership to, the, to this community will make Georgia's energy sector more effective and more attractive for investments. It will also bring further technical and professional development high level of the transparency and strong international support. This will be beneficial not only for Georgia, but for the regional energy developments as well. In conclusion, let me wish this conference very productive work, which will generate a number of interesting ideas on the energy security. On behalf of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, allow me also to express special appreciation to the organizers and supporters of this workshop in particular Ilya State University, Military Academy of Lithuania, the NATO Energy Security Center of Excellence, Embassy of Romania, of course, and World Experience of Georgia, as well as uh, Scientific Research Center, Delta, and Ministry of uh, Energy. Once again, uh, I wish you successful work and thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. This event has uh, made uh, has been made possible with the support of uh, NATO Science for Peace and Security program, and with a big support of a Romanian embassy, a contact point embassy of uh, NATO in Georgia. And I would, I would like to ask uh, her, uh, His Excellency, uh, Mr. Radu. Uh, Horomba uh, to welcome our uh, our, our uh, workshop and uh, finally um, uh, last but not least Mr. Mike Gold who, whose program and whose uh, help has helped a lot in organizing this please thank you very much Excellencies, uh, dear participants, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all and welcome to this uh, workshop in Belize dedicated to an important topic for the South Caucasus region and beyond. Today and tomorrow, we, you will approach a full set of issues pertaining to the energy corridors connecting the supply side, the Caspian Sea region, to the consumer side, Europe as a whole, and Central and Southeastern European 
region, including the Black Sea. In a complex and uh, challenging international security and stability situation, the conclusions of this workshop will be useful for all parties interested in order to gauge the future development of the energy transit corridors in the South Caucasus and Black Sea regions to identify uh, current risks and uh, ch future challenges as well as to envisage the current and future evolution of the natural gas global market in a game-changing situation as a result of increasing output of shale gas and low price crude affecting also the price of natural gas. It will finally contribute to the estimation of the general balance between the actors which support the sustainable development of all the states and actors involved in the production, transport, distribution links and those who those states and actors who want, uh, don't want to build an energy uh, monopoly on the end consumers and then hamper and deny other alternative supplies routes to the end users. My country, Romania, is attaching a great importance to the energy and commodity transport corridors and routes between Europe and Asia, which are laid also in passing and crossing uh, Georgia and the South Caucasus. And this is the region actually we have been actively supporting and contributing to the organization of this workshop. Without any other, I would like also to thank the organizers for putting up this important workshop and also to wish the participants success. Thank you. Good morning, uh, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, distinguished guests. I'm, I'm very happy to be back in, in uh, Georgia in wonderful Tbilisi. Actually, the first time when I was here, it was under uh, Mr. Shevardnadze, and I had to stay in his guest house because this was the only place which had permanent energy. So, so things have changed, and I'm, I'm very happy to be back. I, I would like to welcome all of you today to this very important event, as mentioned by the previous speakers, addressing energy security risks for energy flows over South Caucasus. And I look very much forward to our discussions uh, in this important area and our interest increased focus on energy security challenges in the region. My name is Michael Gaul. I'm, I'm working at NATO headquarters in the Emerging Security Challenges Division which aims to identify and respond to a wide range of contemporary security challenges uh, ranging from border security, counterterrorism, uh, cyber defense, energy security, proliferation of, of weapons of mass destruction, and so on, just to name a few. Uh, I also would like to, to thank the organizers first uh, for uh, organizing and setting up this event. This is a lot of work. We know this, we organize many such, uh, or we finance many of uh, such events, and nobody gets rich from that, just to say it from the outset. So it's really, it needs ambition and, and commitment uh, to engage, to organize such an event. And uh, thanks go to the Ilya State University and Military Academy of Lithuania, the Energy Security Center of Excellence in Lithuania, which uh, has played a very big role, World Experience for Georgia, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Energy from Georgia, the Liaison Office, the Baku State University and the Embassy of Romania, which has also uh, contributed a lot. And uh, thanks a lot again for, for these efforts, highly appreciated. Um, <clears throat> and a big welcome to all our experts. If I look at the agenda, I think we have a very impressive list of, of speakers who clearly represent a, a strong cross-section of, of NATO's and NATO partners' uh, coordinated approach to energy security. And uh, yeah, I'm delighted that you all were able to join us. We have a, a great mix of highest authorities from, from Georgia, Lithuania, international organizations, NGOs, universities, private sector companies, very important. And I think the presence of all of you shows 
that energy security is a pressing issue, not only uh, on NATO's agenda, but also on the world's agenda, and that it is an issue we have to address all together. Normally, when I go to a partner country, I try to give an overview about the cooperation with NATO and this country. But um, <clears throat> in the case of, of Georgia, uh, we have such a high level of, of cooperation that listing all of that would probably by far exceed my, my, my speaking time. Um, <clears throat> The, the level of our cooperation is at an extremely and unprecedented level, also because uh, Georgia is an aspirant country. And uh, we have so many things ongoing, starting from the NATO-Georgia Commission, which met at the recent summit in, in Warsaw, the substantial NATO-Georgia package, annual national program, enhanced opportunity partners, and so on, and so on. And, and one can actually say in a nutshell, uh, today is more Georgia in NATO and more NATO in Georgia than ever before. And uh, just one example, I mean, also the great support we, we received from Georgia in, in Afghanistan, Kosovo, but just the, the latest example was actually the attack on, on 10 November against uh, the German consulate in Mazar el Sharif, where actually the Georgian quick reaction forces have been the first ones to respond, and actually uh, nobody was injured, nobody was uh, died at the end, and this was actually the result of the um, bravery and competence of, of the Georgian uh, quick reaction force, so thank you very much, and just want to give this example as an example of the level of our cooperation. So, some of you <clears throat> might ask, why is NATO supporting such a workshop? NATO is a military alliance, or at least perceived primarily as a military alliance. And the reason is that we strongly believe in the concept of cooperative security. And this is why the Science for Peace and Security program, which I'm running, has decided to support this initiative. Uh, the core task of cooperative security brings us all here together today. NATO recognizes that in order to meet the challenges of today and tomorrow, NATO must strengthen and maintain its partnership with countries of the nations around the globe. It means that we all must strive to build security together. And this is in particular uh, very true when it comes to energy security. And, and my program, the SPS program, is one of the core instruments of the Alliance to achieve this cooperative security. The Science for Peace and Security program is NATO's largest partnership tool. And uh, we address these emerging security challenges and issues of relevance to security through cooperation between allied and partner countries, always an ally and a partner country work together and we try to bring to get together experts, scientists, policy makers from NATO and partner countries to discuss issues of relevance and common interest through development of workshops, training, research projects and development projects. Just what we are doing here today. We have a lot of cooperation ongoing with Georgia in, in many different areas from cyber over advanced technology uh, counter-terrorism, energy, hybrid warfare, so very active cooperation between the program and, and uh, Georgia. And <clears throat> uh, energy security is certainly very high uh, on the agenda of the program uh, because uh, enhancing our networks with all of you here today is fundamental for our effective and coordinated approach to security in today's globalized world. And this was also clearly stated in, in Warsaw at the summit recently, uh, that NATO will continue to consult and further develop the capacity to contribute to energy security in areas where we can add value. A stable and reliable energy supply, the diversification of routes, suppliers, energy resources, and the interconnectivity of energy networks remain of vital importance to allied security. While these issues are primarily national responsibilities, the, the, 
the pipelines and, and energy uh, lines of communication are owned by, by states or even by private com companies. But we closely follow relevant developments in energy security, including in NATO's east and south. And uh, we have been enhancing our awareness of energy, including through expanding our links with other international organizations. We have also been further developing NATO's competence in supporting the protection of critical energy infrastructure and enhanced resilience. This is an issue which is very high on the agenda, more resilience, and we will discuss it uh, during today and tomorrow. And also with a view to the hybrid warfare environment, um, you need a good network of experts. Uh, we need to exchange on best practices on critical in infrastructure protection. And um, <clears throat> we have to look in, in training, how to build up, to build energy security scenarios in our exercises and in our advanced planning. We continue to work towards uh, improving the energy efficiency of military forces. Using less energy in military is a part of security because you need less transport. You are less vulnerable if your consumption is lower. And uh, we try to establish st standards, actually, to reducing the dependence and integrating energy efficient component into our exercises. Energy shapes national interests and relations between nations. Access to resources has driven commerce and conflict within and amongst societies for millennia. The availability of reliable and affordable energy is essential to our alliance's economic and military strength, which is the foundation of our leadership in the world. Energy matters because energy markets are global and supply disruptions anywhere can have major impact on the global energy prices and availability. Therefore, dialogue, engagement, and all these matters strengthens our ability to address these common challenges, and uh, there is nearly no better place uh, to do this than here in, in the Southern Caucasus and in Georgia. Having said this, I would like to stress that today's event proves that NATO is committed to continue to engage with our partner countries on energy security, discussing topics such as shaping and adjusting NATO energy security in the region, cyber and physical, threats to critical infrastructure or regional cooperation for energy security are of high importance, and we are going to discuss these issues thoroughly today. I'm convinced that uh, this workshop will play an important role in exchanging knowledge and insights on energy security risks and energy flows. Having all these distinguished uh, speakers and experts here, uh, will allow us to, to deepen our understanding of the subject and uh, in particular in the regional context. And I would like to welcome you all again and thank you all again for having set this up. Um, the interest is obviously very high and we have created a great platform here to exchange views, to engage in open and honest discussion. And I hope at the end that we have some concrete takeaways, maybe concrete ideas for follow-up activities. And finally, um, and sometimes even more importantly, uh, it's also a very good place to establish networks and to build up relations which will hopefully last beyond these two days and help us to, to even closer, to work even closer together in the future. I wish us all a great event and thanks a lot again.